Intermodal containers can be used interchangeably in two or more modes of transportation. More than four million such containers are in use around the world, and the number grows rapidly. Intermodal containers may be tank containers, which have an excellent safety record. Or they may be box containers, which present unusual challenges, because emergency responders may not know what is inside. Commodities may be mixed and include hazardous materials, which may have been loaded hastily and improperly by persons unaware of or wanting to circumvent regulations. This program is part of a series on container emergencies and is called Intermodal Containers. The program is designed to provide information to emergency responders and industry personnel who work with or who may respond to emergencies involving intermodal containers. The program will examine how intermodal containers are constructed and used, discuss how accidents happen, and show procedures for responding to emergencies involving tanks as well as boxes. Intermodal containers are quickly transferred at ports and terminals. Cargo handling is reduced, resulting in lessened transportation costs. As a result, intermodals have become a common method of moving a diverse range of both regulated and non-regulated bulk and non-bulk products. Intermodal containers can be found on ships, some of which can carry more than 3,000 containers in holds and stacked above deck. Intermodal containers may move on barges. They may be loaded on flat cars in railroad transportation, some on double stack trains. Intermodals may be attached to a trailer chassis for highway transportation. Or drayage, transfers between nearby terminals or within the terminal. Intermodals are also found stored in fixed facilities. Intermodal tank containers, which may be called isotanks or portable tanks, are pressure vessels mounted inside a sturdy frame. The frame protects the tank and provides for stacking, lifting and securing the container. <laughs>